Hey guys, what is up? It is Shia here with MLS Female, and I am here with your pre-game breakdown for Orlando City versus New York Red Bulls, which goes down tomorrow, March 31st at 1 p.m. It's an early game. So um, I just wanted to really quick just touch base like we've been doing the past couple weeks, just give a real quick breakdown on what to expect for the game tomorrow. So this one is going to be tough. This one's going to be tough. Red Bulls are doing pretty good this season so far. Right now, I know standings don't really matter this early in the season, but right now they are sitting at third place. They have two wins, zero draws, and one loss. Orlando City, we have zero wins. We have one draw, and we have two losses, so we're doing fabulous this year. That's Kovu. Say hi, Kovu. Okay. So we're doing fabulous so far this season, as you can clearly tell. But um, this game is going to be interesting for sure. We do have Dom Dwyer back. Finally, first time this season we're getting Dom Dwyer back on the field. So hopefully that makes some changes for us, makes some get some more opportunities. I would really like to see the Dwyer and Chris Mueller combination. Um, I'm, I'm, I really have high hopes for that one. I really think that those two together will be able to make some powerful plays. Um, other notable things, it's Sacha's first game against his old team, so we are going to see that. He's pretty pumped about that. He's pretty excited. Um, so we should be seeing some good things there. One thing to note, Rivas and Tommy Redding. Carlos Rivas and Tommy Redding were our trades for Sacha. So they are on the Red Bulls. We can expect to see them tomorrow. Rivas always had the problem of overshooting. He was kind of more like a field goal kick field goal kicker than a goal kicker so a lot of people aren't worried about it about him making too many shots against us however I mean he has had time to improve he has had time to change so there's always the possibility that he under this new coaching he has been able to get that foot down and help land those shots so we shall see other than that um we don't have Yuri Rossell he is still out and we don't have Jonathan Spector. So our captain is out for this game. He is still under concussion precautions. or He's still under concussion restrictions from the last game where he went down and finished out the first half but didn't come back in the second half. So he is still out for this match. Get well soon, Specs. We would love to see you back out there. Defense is not the same without you. But I do have faith that our defense will still make you proud. We have a pretty good lineup on defense back there. So that's about it. This game is definitely going to be tough. We are not going to have an easy time tomorrow. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a test of our skill. But hopefully, having Dom back helps a little bit. Of course, we get Dom back and we lose Spectre. So it's like we can't we can't get a good lineup so far this season. Everyone's either out on injuries or whatever, and they keep just coming back staggering. So it would be really nice if we could just get everyone back at the same time. But until then, uh, we do have Josue Coleman. He is able to play now. We will probably see him. He got a little bit of play time in the last game, but I expect to see a little bit more this time. Who else? Stefano Pino. He went down in injuries in the second game. So he has been back at practice. He has been back at training. There is no word yet on if he's cleared to play yet or not but he is back he is on his feet we can expect to see him soon if not tomorrow we will see him soon so i believe that is your rundown on the game tomorrow check back on mls female for a recap of the game after tomorrow vamos orlando